We know that white sharks serve an important role in our coastal ocean. They are a top predator. Southern California, our front yard, is the nursery for these sharks in the Northeast Pacific. So this nine foot shark is only just beginning to get big enough to start to feed on marine mammals because its teeth haven't fully changed shape yet. The shark lab's been at Cal State Long Beach since 1969. It's one of the oldest shark research labs on the West Coast. We have access to boats, we have access to a really nice marine lab that enables us to not only study sharks in the field, but in the lab. My students and I are able to go out to either catch them or tag them and using some of our technology, track their movements. These are what we call pop-off satellite tags. These get darted into the shark's back and it carries it like an earring. And this has a light sensor, a temperature sensor, and a depth sensor, and a little computer, and it stores all that data. And then at a pre-described time and date, this pops off, floats to the surface, and then downloads all that data to a satellite. The other technology we use are called RUVs, Remote Underwater Video Systems. We turn one camera on, point it towards the shoreline, the other one's pointed offshore, and we just let them run. The sharks are curious, and they'll swim right up to the camera and take a selfie. So white sharks are just like people. They have unique facial markings that we can use to identify individuals. So right now we're working with computer programmers to develop facial recognition software for white sharks. One of the reasons why they probably come in close to shore and hang out so close to the beach edge is because that's a safe place for them. They have to learn to feed on their own. And one of the things we know that they're eating lots of are stingrays. The other reason why we think they're at the beach is because the water's warmer. So those three reasons are why we think young white sharks use our beaches as nursery habitats during the summer. In the winter, we found that those young sharks will migrate south to Baja. And then some of those sharks will come back to Southern California again the next summer. After that, we don't know a lot about where the teenage white sharks hang out. And that's something we hope to be able to figure out. Some of these species like leopard sharks, it's legal to catch them and people do and catch them and eat them. But people have to remember that species like white sharks are protected. It's illegal to catch them and it's illegal to kill them. So there are ways that people can contribute to the shark lab. You can go online and check out CSUB Shark Lab and there are ways to donate. Every time I go to a school and I talk to kids about sharks or I talk to their parents about sharks, to see them get interested and want to learn more I know that that's going to translate in them caring and wanting to do more to protect our oceans. We're seeing people do more. They're doing beach cleanups and they're fighting for cleaner water and cleaner air and better managed fisheries. So it's exciting to see some of the things that I do in my job actually make a difference.